kidney stones are actually a, a very common problem we see and it typically, the typical patient is a 50 year old male, uh, but we see patients in, you know, in their teens or in their 20s or even patients up in their 70s or 80s. And as anybody who knows someone who's had a stone knows they can be extremely painful. There's about 10 causes for stones. Once someone has had their stone treated and they're better, we give them a time to recuperate and about four to six weeks later, uh, we do tests to figure out what their cause is. And there's no way to know what, what someone's cause is without doing the testing. And it's simple, it's a 24-hour urine collection and some blood work. And from that, we can figure out why they're making stones and either alter their diet, put them on a medication, or tell them, tell them to avoid certain things. A majority of my patients, uh, it's just that they don't, don't, they don't drink enough water and they're drinking too much of the wrong thing. But for some patients, they drink plenty of water and they have an excellent diet and they're still making stones, so we need to help them with medication. But 90% of stones are preventable. When we see a patient and we go over their x-rays when they first present to us, they, they've usually either already been to the emergency room or to their primary care doctor. They're usually in a lot of pain. Uh, so we review their x-rays, we talk about how big their stone is and tell them what are the odds that they're going to pass their stone. And if the odds are good, then we just support them with no surgery. We just support them with pain medication and we monitor them and kind of help them pass that stone. Um, most patients will ask, are these stones dissolvable or can I take some medicine to, to dissolve them? And 90% of stones are not dissolvable. Uh, they, they do require either that they be passed or they're broken up surgically. Um, the, the patients that choose surgery, the majority of them need uh, surgery with no incision, either lithotripsy, which is uh, uh, ultrasound treatment of the stone under anesthesia, or uh, ureteroscopy, where we go in uh, through the urethra with a little tiny camera to treat the stone by breaking it with a laser and then removing the pieces with a little basket. Both procedures are outpatient and under general anesthetic. Both of them take about an hour. So for a majority of these stones that, that uh, need the smaller procedures, the outpatient surgeries, most patients recover in 24 hours to, to four days. So a lot of my patients go back to work the next day after their treatment.